What's up? This is Atark here from SmartBikeTrainers.com. All right, Train Road is great for cycling plans and structured workouts, and Zwift is great for the visuals. Usually, you can run both using a Mac or a Windows PC or a combination of two different devices like an iPhone and an iPad, a PC and an iPhone or an iPad. I did a whole post on this a while ago if you are interested in that, but can you run both using only an iPad, just one iPad? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. If you are a regular follower of this channel or if you follow me on social media, you probably know that I tend to use Zwift and Train Road simultaneously on a regular basis. Zwift is great for sim riding, racing, social riding, running, etc. but their structured workouts and training plans can use some work. So a lot of times I go to Train Road for the structured workout. So if you want to run both at the same time using only an iPad, this is how you do it. So let's get to it. Okay, so this will only work using a Wahoo Kicker Smart Trainer, particularly a Wahoo Kicker 2018 model or newer or the Kicker Core. And the reason for that is you need to broadcast power, cadence to train road and Zwift simultaneously. And the only trainer with multi Bluetooth support built in is the Kicker 2018, Kicker 2020, Kicker Core and the Kicker Bike. If you have a different trainer, you can still do that, but you need to use a bridge like the cable device to convert the ANT plus signal to Bluetooth. But I'm not going to cover this here in this video. I did make a separate post video on that, and I will link to that in the description. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is open Trainer Road on your iPad and go to devices, or you can always start a workout, then set up your trainer and devices from the workout screen. I'm gonna pair the kicker bike. Trainer mode is ERG. Then open the workout you want to do. And before starting your ride on Trainer Road, find Zwift and open Zwift. In Zwift pairing screen, pair your trainer as power and cadence. If Zwift automatically pair your trainer as controllable, then make sure to unselect that. Otherwise, both apps will try to control your trainer and you will have a confusing riding experience. So you only want to have your bike trainer paired as power and cadence only in Zwift. Next, let's select a route and go ahead and start a ride. Now bring up the iPad menu by swiping up from the bottom of the screen and you should see Trainer Road down there in the menu. Tap and hold on Trainer Road, then drag up the Trainer Road icon and you should see it open up in a split view. Move it to the side here and that's it. You'll see Trainer Road fully open and resize to fit the screen. Now start your ride and off you go. A train road will be in control here in erg mode or resistance mode, depending on what you select, and controlling your smart trainer, and Zwift will be running in the background like this and just recording your ride. Now, you can close train road, or I should say hide it from the display if you want to by sliding to the right and it will disappear from the screen, or tap on the three dots on the top and slide it to the right. Train road will continue to run in the background and controlling your smart trainer is so you don't have to have it open all the time. If you slide your finger from the right, train road menu should open back up. If you tap and hold on the three dots on top, you can move it to the other side of the screen if you want. You can still use train road like you regularly use it. You can browse devices on train road, switch to resistance mode if you want to, or switch workouts. Pretty simple and just works so well on the iPad. Also, it works the same way on the iPad mini. And I must say, the iPad Pro, the graphics are so smooth and a lot of details. And the frame rate is so smooth, way better than Apple TV. And the battery lasts a while too. On the iPad Pro, in one hour of riding, it used about 28% of the battery. So I started the ride around 98% charged. And by the time I was done running Zwift and Train Road together, the battery was around 70%. So you probably can get a solid three hours of riding on a full battery. The good thing about having a stationary bike like the Kicker Bike, for example, it does have a USB charger, so I can use that if I need to. But if you are looking for a good portable solution, the iPad is really great. Okay, hopefully you found this tip helpful. And if you did, please hit that like button and uh, let me know what you think if you use it. That's all I have for you today. Uh, take a quick second to hit the like button. Also subscribe if you've made it this far in this video and have not subscribed yet. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.